Now, once I've done that, everything that's left is all multiplying. So I could work on all of that one time if I wanted to. I can say one half times five over one times 10 over one. And I can do all that multiplying at once, or if you didn't like doing it all at once, you could just multiply the one half times the five, get that answer, and then multiply that by 10. If I do it all at once, I can go ahead and cancel over here. 2 into 2, 1 time. 2 into 10, 5 times. And so I'll be left with 25 over 1, or just 25. And if we go back and look up here in our original picture, we were working with centimeters, and we're finding area. So I want to make sure on my answer, I put square centimeters because I'm thinking about splitting that trapezoid up into little squares. So once you write your formula down and fill in your numbers, you just follow the rule for the order of operations. Now let's look at a different trapezoid. This one is kind of turned a different way. You can see we still have the two parallel sides, but this time the height is actually one of the other two sides. So the height of your trapezoid could be a part of your figure. So let's find the area of this. The area is one half your height times the sum of the bases. So let's fill in. This time it's one half times as I said, the height is actually a part of the trapezoid, so it's going to be 2. And then the sum of the bases would be base 1 is 4 and 1 third, plus base 2 is 6 and 1 half. So if we begin our work inside of the parentheses, we need to add up the 4 and 1 third and the 6 and 1 half. So I want to do that first. I'm going to move over here to the side and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and leave them as mixed numbers. 4 and 1 third, and 6 and a half. Now, if you'd prefer, you can make them improper fractions and add them that way. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave them mixed numbers. My common denominator would be 6. If I'm adding, I've got to have a common denominator. So I'd multiply by 2 and get 2 sixes, and by 3 and get 3 sixes. So I'm adding two sixes and three sixes. That would give me five sixes, and four and six would be ten. So I'd have one half times two, and then inside the parentheses I'd have ten and five sixes. So now all that I have left is multiplying. So let's fix it so we could do the multiplying. It's one half times two over one times, and then to multiply this, I've got to make it improper, so that would be 60 plus 5 would be 65 sixes. Then I'd be ready to do the multiplying. In order to multiply, I need to reduce first, 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 2, 1. So when I multiply across, I'm left with just 65 sixes, or I could make that a mixed number, 6 would go into 65 10 times. 10 times 6 is 60, with 5 sixes left over. Again, I'm working with centimeters, so I need to put square centimeters or write out the word square centimeters. Now I could put 10 and 5 sixes square centimeters. Or you could say 65 sixes squared centimeters. Now I'd like for you to do some problems. The first problem, find the area of a triangle with base equal to 4 and 2 thirds inches and height equal to 2 and 1 half inches. Use A equals to one-half BH for your formula. 
And then the second one, find the area of the trapezoid below. Use the formula A equals to one half H times the sum of B1 plus B2. And then you can see your figure. This is a six centimeters, five centimeters, 12 centimeters. So if you'll copy those problems down, once you get them copied down, cut the tape off and work them. When you think you have them worked correctly, cut the tape back on to check your answers. This problem's answers are number one, five and five, six square inches, or 35, six square inches. Number two, 45 square centimeters. If you disagree with one of these answers, see if you can find what you did wrong. If you cannot, stop the tape and go get some help. The next thing we want to talk about is volume. And we mentioned in an earlier lesson that the volume of a three-dimensional object is the amount of space it encloses. In other words, when you're in three dimensions, you're moving into some type, probably some type solid object that encloses some space. So the volume is the amount of space the three-dimensional object encloses. We measure volume in cubic units. For example, cubic feet, cubic inches, cubic centimeters, just for several types of cubic units. A cubic inch is a cube with its length, width, and height equal to one inch. A cubic centimeter, which I'm going to show you in just a minute, is a cube with its length, width, and height equal to one centimeter. So what we're going to be doing when we're finding volume is splitting up our three-dimensional figure into little cubic inches or feet or centimeters, whatever we're measuring in. And we're seeing how many of those it takes to fill up the figure. A cube is a solid whose length, width, and height are equal in measure. It's made up of six square surfaces called faces. Okay, here's a You can see an example of a cube here. Each of these is a face. You see your six square surfaces. You have a front, a back, a top, a bottom, and the two sides. And those faces are all squares. This line segment here is called an edge. So each surface has four edges. 